Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about everything skin related and specifically breakouts. So I've had a bit of a breakout. For some people it's not gonna seem like a big one and they have definitely come down, but I've got a few spots here and here on my chin as well. Um, and I know that like, my self-confidence gets really affected when my skin breaks out and I don't necessarily feel as good in my skin. Um, however, there are lots of things that I like to do um, when my skin isn't feeling so good that kind of definitely make a huge difference. Um, and I feel like when I'm being proactive about my skin, I definitely feel internally better as well. So when I have breakouts, first things first is that I make sure that I'm keeping up with my hydration. Um, our skin is one of our biggest organs and it needs a lot of water passing through it. Um, so I make sure that I'm having like at least eight to 10 glasses of water a day. And I do find often when I'm not drinking as much water, I do tend to break out when my skin feels a bit more dull um, or kind of dehydrated. So that does tend to make a big, big difference. Okay, so the kind of skincare brands that I'm using at the moment, because I haven't really shared a lot of skincare on YouTube for a while. Um, I'm changing around a lot. I used to use a balm cleanser, which I love, to be honest. A balm cleanser is my favorite, and I do use it for taking off um, heavy makeup. However, um, I went to see an amazing facialist, and she said for my skin type, um, it was better to use more of a gel cleanser. So I've been using this. This is Dr. Sam's Flawless Cleanser. She's an amazing dermatologist. She's got a fantastic range actually that I've been using a lot of. There's maybe like five products or so, um, which I love. It's really simple. It's kind of compact. It's sort of three steps in the morning, three steps in the evening, um, which I love. And I just like simplicity when it comes to skincare. So I'll kind of show you, this is the texture um, of the cleanser. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just rub it into my skin like this. And I tend to kind of massage the areas um, a little bit, not aggravating, um, but they're sort of breaking out. And I find my forehead and my chin and my areas that tend to break out. So I like to do a really nice deep cleanse of my skin. And then I tend to do a mask. So this is the mask that I'm using. Um, and the mask is by Sarah London. Uh, it's a mud mask, nice and green, so it's powdery, which I love because it means it lasts longer because all you need to do is add water to it. Okay, so it does make a bit of a mess in your bathroom. So I'm gonna kind of put it all over my face, making sure it's a little bit thicker in the areas that I'm breaking out. This is a really wonderful mask, especially when you're breaking out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that to dry. Um, the other things that I do with skin is to really have a look at my lifestyle as well because often it is a reflection of your lifestyle. I find that stress is a big thing that impacts my skin. So meditation is a tool that I love and I've shared lots of meditations on my YouTube channel and that is really good for calming the nervous system. You know, our skin reacts to what we're eating, um, how we're living, you know, environments, toxins, um, but also to stress as well. So it's really important to kind of Find a tool that works for you. And meditation might not be the one for you. It might be walking in nature, it might be rock climbing, it might be painting. Anything that kind of, you know, reduces the chatter in your mind, gets you a bit more mindful, a bit more focused, and living in the present moment. I think living in the present moment is the most beautiful place that we can be in, we're the most appreciative of life, but equally it is the most kind of relaxing state to be in as well. So definitely looking at my stress levels and also what I'm eating. Um, I've had quite a stressful few months and, and kind of a year with kind of personal stuff going on and I find that I'm a bit of a stress eater so I tend to like eat a lot of chocolate <laughs> or brownies or something like that. 
And again, there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes I know when I'm eating excess sugar, I do see it in my skin. Um, so I am gonna be a bit more mindful. I'm gonna make a bit more of a meal plan um, this week so that I'm not kind of getting home feeling a bit stressed and just like snacking on lots of things. Instead, I'm gonna have, you know, a meal plan of exactly what I'm gonna eat that evening. I'm gonna make everything really yummy and delicious. You know, I think when you're trying to eat healthy, the worst thing you can do is kind of make meals that you're not looking forward to. Like, for example, say like it was steamed fish and vegetables. And to me, actually, that is a really delicious meal. But if you're not looking forward to that because you think it's just a healthy meal, it's gonna be harder to stick to. And equally, you know, food is about enjoyment. You will enjoy every mouthful. So, you know, make sure you're adding lots of spices. Um, they're incredibly beneficial and healthy for you, but also will make the food taste more delicious and, and make the meal more satisfying for you. So I think that's really, really good. So I'm really, yeah, thinking about my diet. I did a podcast with um, an amazing woman called Erica, who is a nutritionist and specializes in skin. And I really recommend if you're interested in skin and you wanna find out a little bit more, we talked a lot about acne and we talked a lot about nutrition and skin. So she can give you a bit more of a detail into it, but things that are really important are omega-3, so um, getting that from your fatty fish such as sardines, mackerel, salmon, um, and you can supplement with omega-3 if you don't feel like you're getting enough of it. Um, and if you know, you're know you vegan, there's obviously options of things like flax seeds and walnuts um, and uh, chia seeds as well, so making sure you're having um, abundance in this. And I've also seen a few vegan uh, DHAs on the market, which are sort of vegan uh, equivalent of fish oils. They're really, really good for the skin, very anti-inflammatory. Um, so they're really good things to be getting in. Um, and then lots of polyphenols. So, um, you know, lots of kind of things like blueberries and dark leafy vegetables. They're really nutrient rich and really good for the skin. Um, and then in terms of what cutting out, everyone's really different. You know, I know for me, excess sugar, you know, a little bit of sugar I'm fine with, but when I'm kind of eating too much of it, I do tend to break out. Some people it's dairy, um, but it's not everyone. I don't think there's one particular thing, like if you cut this out, your skin will get better. I think everyone's really different. And it's about maybe having a food journal or monitoring when you break out. Is it based on your hormones? Because a lot of people, um, me included, break out around that time of the month. Um, and you know you can balance your hormones in different ways um, but sometimes it is just inevitable and something we have to sort of relax into um, but I think you know if you know that you break out this time of the month that's the time to do the mud mask the time to be cleansing deeply in those areas really looking after your skin in that way so I think those are those are really really good things to do okay this mask is feeling nice and dry so it's time to wash it off Okay, so I have two go-to spot creams. The first one, I can't seem to find, I think it, maybe it's in my bedroom, uh, is the Origins Spot Cream. This is a really good, nice gel. Really good to use in the daytime um, because it's clear um, and no one can see it. And then the second one that I'm really loving is this, which is the Kate Somerville um, Eradicate. Um, which I've done something naughty, which was to shake it a little bit because we meant to keep it very still. Um, I bought some of these, which are organic, organic cotton swabs. Um, so they're made from organic cotton and then wood. So they're completely plastic free and sustainable because I think obviously we've seen that horrific picture of um, the seahorse and it's wrapped up in, you know, a classic plastic one, which I don't think um, biodegrades at all, or at least it takes it a very long time. Um, so I'm not someone that like cleans my ears with them a lot. I mean, I do love the satisfaction of doing it. Um, so I don't often buy these, but I picked them up from Whole Foods yesterday because um, to use this, you have to dip it. So basically you go down and you lift up and then you pop it on your spots. So this is 
not a spot cream to go out with. <laughs> I mean, unless you don't mind it. Um, but what I really like about this um, is it's got a bit of salicy salicylic acid. Um, but I think it's also got some zinc in it. Uh, it kind of reduces redness, but also dries up the spots. Um, so it's a kind of, uh, in my opinion, overnight treatment. You can obviously keep using the spot to kind of dab onto different areas. Um, and it's just fantastic, really, really good spot treatment. Um, I can already feel it kind of tingling and working already. I quite like the smell of it. It's quite strong, but I do quite like the smell of it. So this is really good in the evening and then I tend to use the Origins one in the daytime because I can kind of put it on, uh, no one can see it, and then I can layer on makeup um, over it. In my opinion, if possible, when you have a breakout, try not to put a lot of makeup on it, uh, just because um, it will probably irritate the skin a little bit and potentially make it worse. Um, however, obviously, when you're breaking out, you are more self-conscious. I know myself, I like to put makeup on, so just kind of go as light as possible, um, you know, be very gentle, make sure you've got really clean hands when you're putting um, the makeup on, on that area, and try not to touch your spots too much. I'm like definitely like, someone that loves picking spots and touching them and things like that, but it never makes it better. Scarring is a lot harder to get rid of than spots. Um, so just be very conscious of the fact that you're not scarring your skin if you're kind of into picking or touching your spots as much as possible. Um, and I think a little bit of patience is required as well. So you can do all the treatments, you can do all the right things, um, but you've also got to have a little bit of patience when it comes to skin. And I think it's about that 360 approach, skincare, um, lifestyle, like how much are you sleeping? You know, sleep is really important with skin. It's where we repair. Um, that's kind of what our whole body is doing. It's repairing during that, you know, your night's sleep processing everything and I think it's really important to be having really good night's sleep, eating lots of healthy nutritious food, um, you know working on your stress levels as well as your skincare and having that kind of 360 approach will definitely help your skin be better but equally remember that you can be doing all the right things and sometimes you do have breakouts and you know that for me this is a really small breakout this is not a big problem but if you're really breaking out and you feel like you're doing all the right things you're eating well you're looking after yourself but you're still having quite bad acne then i think it is the time to go and see a dermatologist um or go see your gp or go see someone that potentially could um help you a little bit more because i do think feeling confident in our skin is really important we do put such an emphasis on the way our skin looks um, which really shouldn't be that important, but I know for myself um, that it, it, it is something that is important to me, so I do try my hardest, but equally sometimes I just have to tell myself that probably people aren't staring at my spots and <laughs> you know, you always notice your skin much more than someone else does. So I think it's really important to kind of know that and, and know that you're much more than what your skin looks like and you, you know, you try your hardest and then up to a point, you know what, you just, you just gotta live life to the fullest as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed all these tips. If you've got some more tips um, that have really helped you with your skin, do leave them below because I think it really helps everyone else reading them and also I love learning from you as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in another video. Bye.